popliteal artery, it is a continuation of femoral artery. It extends from fifth osteoponentic opening of adductor magnus, it goes downwards and terminates at the level of lower border of popliteus muscle into anterior tibial artery and posterior tibial artery. As it goes downwards and it is related to the floor of the popliteal fossa, it is related to popliteal vein and tibial nerve. This popliteal vein initially present posterior lateral to the artery. As it goes down, it crosses the artery. In the lower part, it is related medial to the artery. The tibial nerve is vertical and it lies lateral to the artery in the upper part. It crosses the artery superficially. In the lower part, it comes medial to the artery. Relations of popliteal artery, it has superficial surface and a deep surface. Deep surface is related to following structures from above downwards. If you try to see in the upper part is related to the posterior surface of femur, in the middle part is related to the oblique popliteal ligament, in the lower part it is related to the fascia covering the popliteus muscle. Superficial surface, in the upper part it is overlapped by semimembranosus, in the lower part it is overlapped by gastronemius and plantaris, in the middle part it is crossed by two important structures that is the popliteal vein and the tibial nerve. Laterally, popliteal artery in the proximal part is related to following structures. We have the biceps femoris, we have the tibial nerve and the popliteal vein and the lateral condyle of the femur. If you come to the distal aspect on the lateral side, it is related to lateral head of gastronemius and plantaris muscle. If you go towards the medial side, it is related to semimembranosus and medial condyle of the femur. In the distal aspect on the medial side, it is related to following structures. It has the popliteal vein, the tibial nerve and the medial head of gastronemius. Branches of popliteal artery, it has three branches. We have the cutaneous branches, muscular branches, articular or genicular branches. The cutaneous branches pierces the fascia and supplies the skin over the popliteal fossa. The muscular branches supplies the muscles near the popliteal fossa like semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps femoris and the gastrocnemius muscle. The genicular branches also called as articular branches will be 5 in number. They are superior medial genicular, superior lateral genicular, inferior medial genicular, inferior lateral genicular. There is one more genicular artery that is called as middle genicular artery which comes in the center. Genicular anastomosis, this anastomosis is present around the knee joint. On the superior aspect, we have the superior medial genicular artery which anastomoses with inferior medial genicular artery and descending genicular artery. Superior laterally, we have superior lateral genicular artery which anastomoses with inferior lateral genicular artery and descending branches from lateral circumflex femoral artery. Inferior medially, we have inferior medial genicular artery which anastomoses with superior medial genicular artery and descending genicular branches. Inferior laterally, we have inferior lateral genicular artery which anastomoses with superior lateral genicular artery along with anterior and posterior recurrent branches from anterior tibial artery. Apart from this, there are transverse anastomoses between the genicular artery and descending genicular arteries. This anastomosis acts like a collateral circulation. Whenever we flex the knee joint, there will be sluggish blood supply in the popliteal artery. This is bypassed by this genicular anastomosis. Popliteal vein, this vein gets formed at the lower border of the popliteus muscle from anterior tibial vein and posterior tibial vein. It is accompanied by an artery and it has an oblique course. If you try to see the relationship of this vein with the artery, in the upper part the vein is related posterior lateral to the artery. In the middle part it is crossing superficially, in the lower part it is coming towards the medial side. Afterwards it gets terminated. It terminates into femoral vein at the level of fifth osteoponeurotic opening of adductor magnus. It has many tributaries. Among this, we have the small cephanous vein and there are many muscular veins which are draining into this vein. Tibial nerve, it is one of the largest nerve which is coming from sciatic nerve. It conveys fibers from ventral branches of ventral rami of L4, L5, S1, S2 and S3. This nerve passes vertically downwards from upper angle of the popliteal fossa towards the lower angle of the popliteal fossa. Whenever it is coming down, it crosses superficially to the popliteal vessels and the popliteal vein is in between the popliteal artery and the nerve. Branches of tibial nerve, it has 
muscular branches, it has articular branches, cutaneous branches and vascular branches. The muscular branches will supply gastrocnemius muscle, plantaris muscle, soleus muscle and the popliteus muscle. Nerve to popliteus will supply the popliteus muscle, tibialis posterior, intraosseous membrane, superior and inferior tibiofibular joint. Apart from this, we have articular branches which is also called as genicular branches. We have the superior and inferior medial genicular branch and middle genicular branch which will be supplying the knee joint. Apart from this, we have the cutaneous branches, there is a sural branch which is going to supply the posterior aspect of the leg. The vascular branches, the nerve fibers will be arising from the postganglionic fibers from T10 to L2. This will go along with the vessels and it provides the vasomotor supply to the popliteal vessels. Common perineal nerve, it is the smallest branch of sciatic nerve. It arises from dorsal branches of ventral rami of L4, L5, S1 and S2. This nerve starts from the upper part of the popliteal fossa, goes towards the lateral angle of the popliteal fossa. It will terminate at the level of neck of the fibula into superficial perineal nerve and a deep perineal nerve. It will be lying over the sheet of the popliteus fascia. This nerve at the popliteal fossa gives rise to two branches, that is a cutaneous branch and a articular branch. The cutaneous branches are the sural communicating nerve and we have the lateral sural nerve which supplies the leg. We have the articular branches also called as genicular branches. We have the superior and inferior lateral genicular branch and we have the recurrent genicular branch. <laughs>